Welcome to today's video, y'all. I'm super excited because I'm sharing something really cool with you. If you are a biker and you are out there in America or anywhere in the world, you know one of our favorite things to do is customize the motorcycles. And just yesterday, I took a ride up to North Little Rock to get a little work done. And you may ask why I go all the way to North Little Rock to get work done on my 2020 Indian Challenger. And the answer is pretty simple. Good people, man. I met the owner at Hot Springs Rally last year and he was super kind, took me in and just treated me like family. So I knew when it came time to upgrade my motorcycle, I'd have to go see him. So when I arrived at Gregory Polaris, you know, Mr. Gregory was no different than he was back at Hot Springs. He was just awesome. And we dove into the bike. Why don't y'all take a look? Here's a fun little fact for y'all. This is the bike I wanted to really take on the Transamerica Trail. I really considered it, um, but I couldn't find enough accessories to really make it doable for that. I haven't sat on one since I rode it. I just love this bike. Mr. Gregory. What's happening? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Y'all, yes. this is Mr. Gregory. He's the owner of this dealership, and I first met him at the Hot Springs Rally. Uh, a while back. Maybe we should show them a little, uh, a little clip from when I test rode my first FDR. Right. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Take a look. That's a fun motorcycle. So we're here today for something uh, other than the FTR, aren't we? Yes. What are we going to do? Man, we're just going to give your bike a little go-go. Give it a little go-go. So what's should we go back and, and get the bike in there and show them the parts and what we're going to be putting on the bike? We can do that. Let's do it. Absolutely. So here's a little tip for you. And one of the reasons, <laughs> well, I wouldn't know if it's a reason. I've seen a lot of guys with half helmets and you can't do it. But when you got to move your bike in a parking lot, just put your hand through the helmet hole. And now you're not worried about dropping your helmet when you're moving your bike. We've got your bars that we're gonna do on there. Yes, sir. We got the uh, high performance air. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, man. Take a look at that cool. bad boy. We're gonna run the tab cat delete two one two. So now, what's the importance of the cat delete? Well, when the Challenger first came out, we wanted more sound. So the cat is your biggest problem if you're riding an Indian Challenger out there. You're trying to get a sound out of that exhaust. Yeah. You got to get rid of that cat. That's right. That's what's holding you back. So deleting the cat is important, and then this goes into a two and a one. You said it's a two one two. You can do that as well, Roger. And then they have the all out a zombie, is what they call it, which sets car alarms off. Yeah, I don't like my bikes to run too incredibly loud, just because I'm doing such long distance all the time, uh, and it just gets to be too much. Yeah, but they're so. a great company to deal with. Cool. And, uh, so. Love this it. is them. Yep. Tab performance. Yep. Go check them out online. We'll put a link right there. Ready. Ooh, let's go check it out. 
So let's uh, let's do a quick comparison, y'all. Take a look at these bars. Actually, here's my exact bike. See how these bars come straight back and then curve down. That's the stock sound, and those are the stock bars. Okay, let's go look what we got. Yep. See how they come up and out? That's nice. Oh yeah, man. That's super nice. A little bit more of an aggressive feel. Now that, my friend, is an American V-Twin sound. That's right. I love it, baby. Yeah. Man. Completely is going to change my ride. I'm excited to ride it, man. I think, I think you'll enjoy it. I, really do. I think it'll be what you were missing. I think so, man. And this is the beginning of making the bike mine. Sure. This is one of the funnest parts about owning a motorcycle is customizing it, making it your own unique bike, making it fit you the best it can. And uh, I think this is a great start. Well, man, I appreciate your patience today. Oh, man, I appreciate you taking care of me, brother. Yeah. This is awesome. Y'all. You gotta check them out if you're anywhere in the Little Rock area or uh, where's the other store? You got another store? In Bryant. In Bryant. If you're anywhere in the area, go see Gregory Polaris. I will tell you one thing for sure, you have absolutely the most friendly staff that anybody could ask for. Everybody here has just been so kind to me since the moment I walked Man, in the door. Man, those guys make me look good every day. They do. Yeah. They damn sure do. Yep. You, you need to keep thanking them the way you are. I see how you treat them low and it's amazing. I'm gonna hopefully take some tips from you and bring it back to my own team. Leadership's a difficult thing and you have definitely uh, showing that you've got the experience, you're doing it right because your team is yeah. your team is outstanding. Yes, they are. Well, let's take this thing for a ride. So I absolutely love Indian, not only because it rides great and it has wonderful power, but they're manufactured right here in America. That's a super important thing for me. And equally important to that are the discounts they give to our military and first responders. That's right, not only veterans, but also active duty, military, first responder, National Guard, pretty much any service to our country, whether it be here on our own soil or overseas, they're offering you a discount and standing behind you. And I think that's super important, especially in the climate we have here in America today. Like I said, that includes volunteer firefighters and retired police. It's an awesome program, a great way to thank those people that are fighting for our freedoms, not only overseas, but right here in our current country. All in all, I'm super happy with the upgrades. Now that I'm home, I've put a few hundred miles on it. The exhaust is great. I can definitely feel the difference of power without question. The handlebars, are a great feel, a great angle. I'm gonna have to put a few more miles on them to see how it works with my personal back, but I do love the quality of the bars. I'd recommend the bars and the exhaust to anybody running the new 2020 Indian Challenger. I feel blessed to have one, and I'm super excited to start making it my own. Y'all got some suggestions and other things I should do to it? Let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you in the next video. That's right, we're giving you five videos a week, every week, and we'll see you in tomorrow's.